In the previous video to this tutorial, I showed you how to add customers to QuickBooks Online. I'm now going to show you how to edit customers. So the way we edit and view customer accounts is to find the customer on this customer subpage, and we get there by going to this invoicing tab and then going on customers. It may be that you've opened on invoices or all sales. All you need to do is click on the customer heading here and your customer list will appear. You can filter the customer by company or by the customer name. To view the account, just simply click on the customer and we have the customer here. Any invoices and payments will show in this box below. There's nothing showing yet. And then the contact details will appear at the top. You can add some notes about this customer by clicking on this box here and adding notes. You might have a customer that has two accounts with you say, so you can add notes. This account is for stationary, another account. This account is for whatever else you sell, um, tables, furniture. Um, I'm just making this up, but it's important that you know you can add notes for each customer account at the top left here. So let's just go through that, that again. So invoicing, then customer, just click on the customer and their account will appear. If you need to edit information about a customer, just click on their account and go to edit at the top right here. You can then edit the information showing. Let's just say we want to have the display name as SM Accounting rather than Sam Walton, the contact name. Let's just say we've got a mobile number now for Sam Walton. We can add that in there. And we also could add the website. Perhaps they've changed their email address. Whatever it is, you just edit the information and click Save. It's the same box that appears when you create the customer. It's nothing new. It should be very straightforward. So let's just go back. Let's edit ABC Computers. Let's click Edit. Let's say we have a contact name there, which is that. It's just a made up name. And let's just say we've got a address we can add now because this wasn't added originally. Just something like that. Click Save. And then that information has been added or edited. So very straightforward. The best thing to do with this software, just like any accounting software, is to play around. The more you play around and get to experience the software and practice using the software, the easier it will be to use it. You'll learn a lot more by using the software along with watching these videos, more so than just watching these videos or just playing around. If you combine the two, it will be very beneficial for you. So that's how you edit customer information and also view customer accounts. In the next video, I will show you how to add customer invoices or raise customer invoices.